Frog and Toad Together is a charming collection of five stories by Arnold Lobel, featuring the enduring friendship of Frog and Toad. Through their whimsical adventures and everyday encounters, the two friends explore themes of willpower, friendship, bravery, dreams, and the ever-changing nature of life. The book opens with the story A List, in which Toad creates a list of things to do for the day. Frog and Toad start by eating breakfast and soon mark off item after item. However, when a gust of wind blows Toad's list away, he is paralyzed. Without his list, he doesn't remember what to do next. Fortunately, after much waiting, the two friends decide to go to sleep, the last thing that Toad recalls from his list, thus concluding their day with or without the written word. Next, in the garden, Toad admires Frog's beautiful garden and wishes to have one of his own. Frog gives Toad some seeds and tells him to be patient as plants take time to grow. Toad's impatience leads to a series of comical efforts to assist the seeds in sprouting, from shouting at them to finally keeping quiet and exhibiting the patience required. Eventually, his seeds begin to grow, teaching Toad a valuable lesson about patience and the rewards of attentive care. In the story Cookies, Frog and Toad explore willpower. They bake cookies and find that they cannot stop eating them. They try various methods to prevent themselves from eating more, including putting the cookies in a box and tying the box with a string. When these strategies fail, Frog ultimately decides that the only way to stop eating the cookies is to share them with the birds, thereby demonstrating self-control is sometimes about removing temptation and the joy of sharing. Dragons and Giants showcases Frog and Toad's bravery. They embark on an adventure to prove their courage, taking on a mountain path where they encounter imagined threats like a dragon and giant. They flee and get injured, yet their real courage shines when they tend to each other's wounds back home. They realize through their scary experiences and mutual care that they are indeed brave. Bravery is found not only in facing external threats, but also in facing fears and supporting each other. Finally, the dream takes a deeper, somewhat surreal turn. Toad has a dream in which he is on stage performing and Frog is in the crowd. As Toad performs feats like dancing and acrobatics, Frog shrinks smaller and smaller until he disappears. Toad is terrified by the prospect of losing Frog, the source of his confidence. He awakens to find Frog at his bedside, and Frog reassures him that he is always there. This story underscores the value of companionship and the fear of insignificance or loss, with the conclusion reinforcing the depth of Frog and Toad's friendship. Throughout all these tales, Lobel's simple yet profound storytelling, coupled with his endearing illustrations, brings to life the universal lessons nestled within Frog and Toad's interactions. The pair's distinct personalities, Frog's calm demeanor and Toad's anxious nature, complement each other and provide a framework for readers to explore their feelings and understand the complexities of friendship and life. Despite their differences, Frog and Toad embody a case of profound compatibility, where support and care for each other affirm their unwavering bond. Their relationship is further depicted in the episodic nature of their adventures, presenting life as a series of moments and challenges to be met with perseverance and the support of good friends. In each of the book's stories, problems arise, whether it's a lost list, the anxiety of growth, the temptation of too many cookies, the fear of dragons and giants, or the unease within a dream. In all circumstances, what stands out is the way Frog and Toad face these challenges together. In Frog and Toad Together, Lobel not only entertains his readers, but also imparts upon them lessons about human emotions and interactions. Each story acts as a parable, from which we can draw insights about our own lives. Though the characters are amphibians, their experiences are quintessentially human, touching on concepts that resonate with readers of all ages. Through their simple, day-to-day -day living, Frog and Toad exemplify the beauty of friendship and the importance of mutual support, highlighting how the bond between friends can make life's journey a joyful and rewarding adventure. The charm of the book lies in its ability to capture the essence of friendship in a way that is both timeless and universal. In the world of Frog and Toad, we are reminded of the joys found in the small things, eating together, gardening, facing fears, and embracing the imagination. The tender, muted humor of here stories warms the heart 
and evokes a sense of nostalgia for the innocence of childhood and the beauty of uncomplicated relationships. Furthermore, the pacing of the stories allows young readers to appreciate the narrative and fully engage with the characters. Each tale wraps up with a satisfying conclusion that, while it might carry a message, never feels didactic. Instead, Lobel allows the reader to arrive at the moral organically through the natural unfolding of Frog and Toad's interactions. Frog and Toad Together is thus a masterful blend of storytelling and life lessons, all wrapped up in a deceptively simple package. Arnold Lobel's gift for nuanced, approachable literature is on full display in this beloved collection. Whether young or old, readers can immerse themselves in the quietly impactful world of Frog and Toad, uncovering within its pages the profound significance of enduring friendship. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.